Many of you come from far and some from near, but wherever it may be, thanks for taking the time to celebrate with the Dolan and Genovese families this weekend. Friends and family who have traveled to be with Caitlin and Tom today, we thank you for being here to share this special day. First and foremost, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining us on a day that not only marks a moment, but a lifetime. I am so very proud to be Tom's dad and about to become Caitlin's dad, number two. But I am especially proud to be the one standing here I still blink away man tears when I recall reading their car that asked me to officiate the ceremony. That's why we're all here, love, and the splendor of this place for these two wonderful people to be joined in marriage. A combination of Caitlin's vision and Tom's willpower and patience all brought us here tonight, so let's give it up for them. It's an honor to be up here tonight as Kaylin's maid of honor and speak on behalf of my sister and best friend. There were many attempts to sit down and write this speech. I would rack my brain for some standout story, memory, or experience over these last 29 years, and I found myself continuously stumped. Because every day that I get to spend with you is one of my best days. There is a quote that says, a sister is your mirror and your opposite. Once I read that, I sat with it for a bit, and in some weird, unexplainable way, I knew what that meant. Immediately, I'm taken to every room we've ever been in. You light up every single room with your wit and charm. Watch her go forward. Watch that. All right, Kate, I want to tell you how much I and we love you. The recent memories and thoughts I have with the pride of having you, the lady you are, you have made the most beautiful bride, the greatest sister, will be the best of wives, and in my mind, the best baby girl any dad could have. I would do this 29-year ride over and over. <laughs> I love spending time with you. The fact that our relationship is a dynamic one. I love you, Kate. Oh, oh, you look so good. I leave every single interaction with you feeling like I can take over the world. The passion you have for making the most of life is contagious. I first met her at the graduation ceremony at Quinnipiac. My initial impressions of her being beautiful, intelligent, and having a great sense of humor has only grown stronger over time. Kaylin is a woman of strong character impeccable style. In my mind, her idea of a perfect evening is a nice dinner and drinks with the ones she adores the most. Thank you to the Genovese and McNeely families for embracing our family, embracing, loving, and making our Caitlin one of your own. The biggest thank you, though, goes to you for sharing the gift of Tom with us. You raised the best young man any family could, and we love him so much. Lovers don't meet somewhere along the way. They're in one another's hearts all along. And I'm sure we all recognize that Tom and Kate have been soulmates for a long time themselves, perhaps even longer than they know. I think girls and moms dream of weddings in that day. I really don't think dads do. And Kate sort of wanted me more involved, but I never really wanted to think of giving her away. But in the end, this man you married could not have been a better way to have as a dream's end. I love you, Tom. Well, if this day where you married Kayla did not come about, you were not getting away. We invested too much and you were too good. Today, Tom stands before us a responsible, hardworking man, ready to embark on a new journey of his own. 
building a family. The first time I met Tom was the summer of 2013. Caitlin and Tom had met at Quinnipiac their freshman year and coincidentally had happened to be both from the same area of New Jersey. Over that summer, we got to know Tom and luckily for us, never stopped getting to know him. And I feel honored and fortunate to stand by Tom's side as his best man. More importantly, his older brother. The best thing for us is the way you love Caitlin. It's selfless, full of passion, respect. It's a pleasure to watch and you made her so happy. Believe me, we see it. My favorite thing about him is the way that he treats my sister. I'm sure a lot of people in this room, when they think about Tom's best qualities, they probably go to his looks. Um, but I think about his heart. Over the last 10 years, the real pleasure for us is seeing our daughter fall in love, her heart full of emotion, her caring soul, the happiness in her eyes, and the ultimate mirrored reflection of all these emotions from Tom and the wonderful couple they are. These are all the things me and Carrie wanted for her, a dream come true. love, compassion, and overall admiration for Caitlin knows no bounds, and I could not have dreamt up a better life partner for my sister. Tom and Kate are two of a kind, very special people. Billy, Kate's oldest brother, said, I want to acknowledge the fact that Kate and Tom have been together for 10 years, but somehow they keep the same energy they had when they first started dating. Caitlin has always been energetic and passionate. Tom has only magnified that energy. Tom, do you take Caitlin to be the one? Do you promise to carry her heart and your heart forever? I do. And Caitlin, do you take Tom to be the one? The one you not only give love, respect, and compassion to, but also the one that you allow to receive the same from? I do. Remember to always be yourselves because that's who you fell in love with. Kate and Tom, I thank you for today. I thank you for all of the yesterdays and to all the even better tomorrows. I raise my glass to my daughter Kate, my new son Tom, Mr. and Mrs. Genovese. To the end of a decade and the start of an age, long live, cheers to you guys. Congratulate Tom and Caitlin, Mr. and Mrs. Genovese. We did it!